But there's a few comments I saw. Jesse James getting fat. I'm yeah. like, is it in your head? Because you were shredded for that show. Yeah. Now you feel kind of fat. It's such a simple test. 5.6. What? Coach Greg, and I'm here with... Jesse James West. And it's Q&A time. I asked you all your best questions and we're gonna answer them right now. 100% honest, are you ready? I am ready, let's go. All right, let's check this out. And the first question says, get oiled up with him and Noel. Do you, do you I have was oil? there. Do you have oil? We could rub some on I our hands. I have arms. no oil. You don't have any oil? No, are you, are there you when gonna, you got oiled up? I did by, get uh, oiled Mama, up. What was that guy's uh, name? Mama. Granny, Granny Guns. Granny Guns. Are you ever gonna oil up? For a bodybuilding show? No, man? no, for the internet. You know the trend? What I did. That's a trend now? That's a trend right now, yes. Guys, should, should Greg get oiled up? Comment below. Yes or no, comment below. And if so, who am I getting oiled up with? You just do it yourself. You rub it on you, film a video. It's gotta be way more fun with someone. It, who do you want to see me oil up with? Or who do you want me to be oiled up by? Yeah, yeah. Okay, guys trying to get shredded. Uh, it says, talk about a cutting stack. So when I'm dieting, the best stack is gonna be a calorie deficit. Secondly, I do it naturally, so it's most likely gonna just be uh, Yohembine, like Alpha Yohembine, I think, mm -hmm. is what I'll take. And um, from Gorilla, they have like a PM fat burner with no caffeine. I'll take those, but I don't, I, I do, them, I'll do them in the morning before cardio, but I'll be honest, like, I don't even know if they're doing anything. So basically, you don't do anything. I heard yeah. the Yohembine, which can definitely work. That one makes me sick to my stomach. It's I'll feel like I'm gonna puke. Yeah, I, it, it takes I have to eat. away. I have to eat a little have bit. Have you ever taken Melanotan to get your skin darker for competition? No. That will make you friggin' sick. The, oh, really? My, the, absolutely, you get a stomach ache, and you can, I've tried it in the past. Oh. You can't eat. Is that bad for you to take that? No, it's actually healthier than the sun. It's giving you extra pigment. Really? So that, yeah, I know a lot of people taking that right wow. now. Wow. It's one of those peptides are out there. I used to take it. The problem is you're like your little freckles get way darker. So oh. you, if you have a lot of freckles, you look way darker. Interesting. But it kills your appetite. It's good for sexy time. It also increases I've heard that. harder than last time for the downstairs. It literally does that. <laughs> but you should try GO2 Max, which is a, you know, it's got NMN for increased endurance and oh, NMN. caffeine. Isn't that, isn't that NMN good for anti-aging? Anti-aging, potentially. It's not proven yet, okay, so okay, we'll okay. see. But, um, yeah, I, I'm surprised that's all you take. No yeah. caffeine. I mean, I'll have, like, coffee or... Oh, yeah. well, caffeine's amazing for... Yeah, for yeah. And uh, when, I, when, I'm, when I'm dieting, I definitely have way more caffeine than when I'm not dieting, just because the energy levels are so low that I feel like... It helps. It also helps like when I need something sugar or sweet, just a little like two stevia or something in there. Yeah. And just get something that's sweet. Then rather than having like a donut or something. Are you a fan of Andrew Huberman at all? I know who he is, yeah. Do you follow that morning thing where you like get the sunlight caffeine later. and you take the caffeine later or you got <clears throat> caffeine? I'm caffeine thing. right away. Yeah. Yeah. Most people can't handle it. Yeah. I, I used to be addicted to caffeine and really? I, I, went, I did a month video where I didn't have any for a month. It was and a nightmare. That was it a nightmare? But once I went back to caffeine, I only needed half the amount and now wow. I don't have caffeine till like later in the day. Dang. I it actually that. worked. It's legit. It's, I, I would try it. It's hard. When I'm bulking though, like I'm satisfied with food. I feel like when I'm dieting, I actually fill the food with coffee. Yes. And not realize that I'm not tired or need caffeine. I just, I'm just hungry. <laughs> and so good advice is on a diet, more caffeine, not crazy, but more. And then the, just drinking it's going to settle down your appetite. Yeah. Next question. Are you ever doing another bodybuilding show? So right now I've been trying to be either in a surplus or just like hold a heavier body weight with a little more body fat. And, l and later we're going to find out how much body fat I have. Um, that I'm doing that because I'm going to try, I, I try to get more muscle lately because I haven't bulked in years. Like since the day, like you f made your first video, mm. I have not bulked. Like you've always been lean. I've always been lean. I've always been doing cardio. I still do cardio on my bulk just to kind of like, I feel like I just look a little tighter naturally when I do more cardio. Um, but I kind of just started dieting a little bit just to kind of go, I was at 188, which is the heaviest I've been in a very long time while being as lean as I am. Now I'm at like 184. So I dropped, it's not mostly water and like maybe a pound of fat, maybe but mainly just got that like inflammation and water down from all the carbs and stuff. And I'm trying to just nap, like slowly diet to like 181, just kind of like chill diet, like 20 minutes of cardio a day, nothing crazy. And then we'll see if I compete on a, on a bodybuilding stage. I, I have a desire to do it sometimes. Um, when the itch comes, I just kind of dive right into it and I don't have the itch right now, but I think like maybe late summer or something, or maybe in the fall, I'm thinking, I kind of I want to do it later in the year than in the summer because I want to enjoy the summer. Now, I don't know how much you pay attention to comments, but there's a few comments I saw. Jesse James getting fat. 
These things lead you to die because you said 180. Oh, okay, I'm okay. Like, Dude, you're not even 200. I know. And you're already down to 184. I'm yeah. like, is it in your head? Because you were shredded for that show. Yeah. Now you feel kind of fat, even though you're still at 188, he's still shredded. Yeah. So are you actually so, like, so letting that affect you? It could. I, be. I do think that like some of the comments I'll see and I'll be like, I'll be like, damn, am I gaining too much weight too quick? So like, like, because you know, people are like, oh, your face is puffy, and I'm like, dude, I'm just. This is like mm-hmm. what I really am supposed to look like. Right. Um, but. I think that it's more a me thing where I see myself at 188 and I'm like, I have a little bit too much just like smoothness to the abs mm. that I want to, you know, tighten up. And then now that I'm at 184, I'm like, oh, okay. I, I now I'm remembering what I looked like when I was shredded and I yeah. kind of want to get like lean again. Yeah. But I don't want to, I don't want to ruin what I just built. Cause I feel like I really did put on size. Like my delts have definitely grown. My traps have grown a lot. My back's a lot thicker. So I'm really trying to improve my weak points and not just, you know, diet down really quick and ruin what I just gained. So I, I plan to get down to 180, maybe kind of bulk back up a little bit one more time and then cut for sure. Man, my advice would be to stay at that high bulk till it's time. You think to, so? Yeah, because even at your fattest, it's not fat. Well, let's find out what you are. 20 minutes later. So this is like after, at the expo though, I probably, I'm probably like 183, I feel like, because I haven't worked out in a few days and I've been running around like crazy yeah yeah. so like i'm definitely pretty lean but if you want to measure me up you're looking shredded so i would not cut from here okay yeah if you're competing i would stay at this point okay get heavier all right so let's start with the bicep okay let's see what i'm at probably gonna be three i think it's less than three 2.8 2.8 2.8 let's go in the bicep i feel like your arms have gotten bigger from the last time i've done this so I hope so. It's definitely working, whatever you're doing. Just like. I also, uh, I train a little different now. So like, Six, I used to do a lot of volume. Yep. And I really cut back because I, I feel like every year I progress in the gym, I cut my volume back. Cause I learned how to train Do you harder. make up for that with increased intensity? Yes. So I, That's I train what I do. way harder now. Me, yeah. So I train like a psychopath yeah. on like three sets. And to like failure, three sets extreme failure. failure. Yeah, it's maybe a drop set on the last one. And then I'll do like three exercises of chest and like, that's it. And that's then just, my stuff. And then go do triceps and like for two sets. You're still on a split though, right? Like you're doing I do, like- Yeah, chest tries back by, shoulders alone, because it's my weak point, and then legs alone. So you got a four day split. Mm-hmm. So I train exactly like you, but I do it all in one day and I only go to the gym two, three days a week. That's crazy. And the rest that's is cardio. Lot. That's nuts. Well, Where we could address this one question. It was, um, will you ever do a triathlon? What, I think on like my bucket list, it's it's on a bucket list of mine of, of mm-hmm. doing a triathlon and do I like doing events like, you know, sporting events, and being an athlete and training like an athlete. So potentially one day, I just know that it's a lot of commitment. I need to learn how to swim properly. Yeah, and run properly. And like I I, I ran my whole life as an athlete, but proper running for distance is different than sprinting past somebody really quick in, in a sport. And also swimming for distance is have to be like elegant and oh know, yeah, not waste energy. I feel like it's a thing you do after you're done, like bodybuilding. Yeah, I think, I think that's why I'm older. I know that's, that's the thing. Is like, I, I care for bodybuilding too much, like what I look like right now, to to shrink down. And I only up. started back my bike racing type stuff after I stopped bodybuilding. Yeah. So I would just wait till you're done competing yeah. and then be like, I think that's, no, like, that's like my, when I'm a dad, like a dad goal. Where to are we avoid at? the dad bod, let's get your back in here. Yeah, you're very lean. I Thank mean, you. I would not. You don't need to get to 180. So like, okay. if you're watching this, this is not a fat Jesse. This is a very lean Jesse. This would be most people's, at the end of my diet, this is what I want to look like. Uh, I'll do the other side just okay. for my own use. Yeah, one arm on your head there, like that, lined up. Okay. You're yeah. so quick with it, it's crazy. It's such a simple test, 5.6. What? And then... Uh, Will you ever do a bodybuilding competition again? Maybe, maybe. I would I would potentially do one as like a 50 plus. Okay. If it was like a non... Stero- I won't ever use steroids again yeah. for it, but I could do it like I wouldn't and I wouldn't want to go off HRT Yeah, so that's kind of the thing it would have mm. to be like a Contest that I want to just do my best at for fun without like really putting yeah my health at risk makes sense I'm lean enough now that I get yeah, you're, you're lean. compete. I was like seven or eight percent. So that's not it's close I don't know how that you remain that lean. It's cardio cardio is a secret if you do a lot of cardio You can eat whatever you want like I, I can true. actually eat nuts and stuff even I mean uh, higher fat stuff just wow. to get extra calories sometimes that's like, fun. I'm literally so full, like, the cookbook, it's almost too hard for me to use. Wow. It's like, I can't get enough calories sometimes. If I'm doing, like, a lot of bike riding, I yeah. burn too many calories, I need to eat, like, normal food. Damn. It's crazy, I know. One, so you're at 9.6. What? 9.6%. 
Wait, what the hell? Okay, well, that's so, what I was saying. I'm like, I'm like, this is a guy that's like 10%. So I definitely fat. gained muscle. You look, you look. If, I, if my weight is is where it is, like when I, last time you measured me, I was like 10.2. Yeah, and. I was 181 maybe. Yeah, so maybe. Definitely and I'm 180, so I've definitely put on a few pounds. Well, as soon as you, I, I could clearly see muscle big, bigger in your arms, and I didn't expect your abs to be that lean. <sighs> so it's yeah. Yeah. And then so the, Jesse the needs to stop too. dieting. Three the legs too. Oh yeah, yeah. That's that's like a single digit body fat. That's 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 a lean. Let's go. Lean off season. <laughs> Perhaps I convince you, but you don't have to get down to what you. I think I'm gonna go get a burger. <laughs> I'll just be like, yeah, I'm gonna stay there. Yeah. You're only like maybe two percent off of where I am, and everyone yeah. says like I'm lean like all the time. Like, That's so crazy. Cause I I always thought I was like oh since I'm so much heavier now like I think that I think it's honestly the scale number. It's in it your head. Has nothing to do with really what because I, I know I look lean. I mean you're under like, three here. Yeah. Like, and even here was nothing. Your back I think is leaner than mine. Like your thickness. Damn. Were you thinking you're like twelve? I thought I'd be like twelve to fifteen. Oh my god! Like if that was fifteen. So that's what I I feel like people have body dysmorphia. Like if you thought you were twelve to fifteen looking like that, yeah. what do other people think? I know, right? And Holy crap! I get I coach all these people like one time plans, and mm -hmm. then I have I make them guess their body fat, and they'll be like you know twenty percent, and I'll look at them and I'll be like. You're 30 or 40, and then sometimes the opposite. I'm 20%, and they'll be they'll look like you. That's why they're like I'm 20%, and yeah. so you automatically get some information on their, their yeah. headspace. Yeah. This guy has clearly got body dysmorphia. That's crazy. You learn. So I, have, so I, just, I just have a, I have a little smidge of it. Then I would say I don't focus that on it too much. Little smidgen is like it's right halfway there. Oh shit! <laughs> Every person that does this show. It, it's it screws with your head. Yeah. Like right after the show. Oh, after the like show, I was like, like that I rebound. look disgusting. Yeah, but you know what? I, I, I look back at photos right now of, of post show and I'm like, bro, I looked sick. Yes. Like, because I was like full and, you know, the arms look crazy. Absolutely. I remember you told me you were like, do your arms look great, but your abs look bad? And I was like, yes. You I was get like, that watery feel yep. and you're like, where'd that come from? Yeah. And then you just hate it. Yeah. That's why anyone that does a show, I mean, hard. don't bulk really fast, like right yeah. after, because it'll be in your headspace. You'll yeah. feel fat and then, then you'll go on a crash diet and it's like yo yo every yep. year. Yeah, that's why I really trusted the bulk this year. Like, even when I was like, oh, I need, I need to get on a cut. I was like, nope, keep going. Yeah, your bulk has never been like fat. Like people think I'm against bulking. I'm against yeah. getting fat. Yeah. Like if you said, hey, Greg, well, how do I look? And I'm like, oh, that's 22%. I'm like, you, you got to stop. Yeah, yeah. But if you're like 15%, I'm like, dude, that's awesome. Yeah, makes sense. So, and you're at 9.6. So if you said, should I bulk? I'd be yes. Like if, you, if I was coaching you, I'd say you need to eat more food right now if your plan is to compete wow. next year. Because I would want you I was more bulking, like 12%. Okay, so I was bulking at like, yeah, 188. Where you yeah, were. where I was. You were perfect. Okay, I'll go back. I didn't back. Even realize it. But it's the pressure social media. I know. The thumbnail. The literally, literally. The no, no, that's what it is. It's it's like I'm, I, I see myself trying to pull old photos and use them because I'm like, I look way shredded in this. And even if it's just 10% more clicks and then the up, yeah. upward trend. And it's, it's, a, like, it's a very, it's like toxic, you know? But it's Absolutely. A, it's a trickery thing that we all deal with as, as people on the internet. And so let me ask you this question. What, how, do you think there's a lot of people that are still fake natties to this day? Because a lot of people are open about it and you can say it. But like... <sighs> I think this. there's a few that are potential fakes. Yep. Next time on Coach Greg. Oh, all these not natural people are the famous ones. Like there's what? Will Tennyson, Alex Eubank. Jeff Nippard. Jeff Nippard. Are, there's like four, let's say there's six. I'm like, okay, you could be natural. I don't know. I and mean, right. those are probably the dudes that might be either lying. It's so hard to tell nowadays. Find out later that people were on this stuff and I was like, what? Yeah.